Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunday School. Happy Easter. Today is such an exciting day. In fact, it is the most exciting Sunday of the whole year because we're celebrating that Jesus has risen from the grave. If you watch worship with your family, you'll hear a very special call and response. One of the pastors will say, Christ is risen. And everyone else will respond, Christ is risen indeed. Let's try doing that together. I'll say Christ is risen and you say Christ is risen indeed. Ready? Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. That was awesome. Let's get warmed up together. Everyone get on your feet and repeat after me. Oh, there was a moose. Oh, there was a moose. He liked to drink a lot of juice. He liked to drink a lot of juice. Oh, there was a moose. Oh, there was a moose. He liked to drink a lot of juice. He liked to drink a lot of juice. Singing oh way oh, singing oh way oh. Oh wah 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 way oh way oh way oh way oh. Oh wah 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 oh wah. The moose's name was Fred. The moose's name was Fred. He liked to drink his juice in bed. He liked to drink his juice in bed. The moose's name was Fred. The moose's name was Fred. He liked to drink his juice in bed. He liked to drink his juice in bed. Saying an oh way oh, saying an oh way oh. Oh wah 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 way oh way oh way oh way oh. Oh wah 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 oh wah. He drank his juice with care. He drank his juice with care. But he got it in his hair. But he got it in his hair. He drank his juice with care. He drank his juice with care. But he got it in his hair. But he got it in his hair. Singing oh way oh, singing oh way oh. Oh wah 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 way oh. Now he's a sticky moose. Now he's a sticky moose. And he's a moose. And he's a moose. Now he's a sticky moose. Now he's a sticky moose. And he's a moose. And he's a moose. Oh no. Singing oh way oh, singing oh way oh, oh wah 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 way oh way oh way oh way oh, oh wah 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 oh wah. Woo! You made it all the way through the moose song. Wonderful job, everyone. That was so fun. If you tuned into Thursday's cool or Friday's cool this week. You know that there's been some reason to celebrate, but also some reasons to be really, really sad. For Friday school, we even took away all the Sunday school decorations. I am so glad that they're back today. Can you notice the new thing that we added to our Sunday school set? Here's a little hint. If you came to the Palm Sunday drive through last Sunday, you probably have the thing that was added to our set. We're going to sing along to a song that's all about praising God in the good times and in the bad times. This is Blessed Be Your Name. Blessed be your name. In the land that is plentiful, where streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, when I'm found in the desert place, though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name.
Today is the most important Sunday of the whole year that is called Easter Sunday, and that Christ is risen. But what does all of that mean? I remember learning on Friday that Jesus died and was buried in a grave. But what happened to Jesus after that? You know, I think I know someone who can tell us the answer. Let's bring in our friend, Pastor Christine, to tell us the answer. Okay. My, hello, hello, and welcome. Yes, I am Pastor Christine, and it is so sweet to be with you here today on Zoom. Can't wait. I know we all are excited to get back physically, in person, in church, but it is still so good to be with you all here today. So yes, I am going to read um, a little story. You know, you all have been learning a lot over the past several weeks. And can I just say that I love to be with the young people and I love to read. As I used to be an elementary school teacher, I was also a middle school and high school teacher. Um, so it is so good to be able to be with you all via Zoom and to read, because I love to read too. So yay, join in with me as we read this story about Jesus not being in the empty tomb. Okay. So. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun. The women didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus, his body. Mm. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Joanna, carried the spices to rub the body of Jesus as they had a very, very important job to do. Well, when the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Oh my, oh no. They had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening of the cave. Look at their facial expressions, they're startled, right? How would they move this huge stone? Hmm. The women kept thinking and going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had, oh my, already rolled away. Oh. They peeked inside. Oh, it was dark in there. Burr, it was a little chilly and cold in there. Drip, drop, drip, drop. They heard these sounds. It was damp in there. What? It 
was empty in there. Oh my Jesus, Jesus was gone. Then an angel appeared, wow, in sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. Mm. They ran. They ran all the way into town to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and what they had heard. Oof, Mary bumped into a man and tripped and fell at his feet. Wait, wait. She knew those feet. Those feet looked very, very familiar to her. Mm. A familiar hand reached down to help her. Yes, she also knew that smile. It was Jesus. Yes, oh my goodness. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Oh, Jesus was really, really here. I'm sure she was like, I can't believe I'm seeing this. But Jesus was not only here, but Jesus was alive. The woman hugged his feet and she shouted with joy. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. He said, go tell the others the good news that I am alive. Jesus said, I will meet them in a place called Galilee. I can't wait to see them again, Jesus said. Well, the woman had a new job to do now. She wasn't looking for the dead because Jesus was alive. She had to go out to the city of Galilee to tell everyone, hallelujah, Jesus was alive. Wow. Wow. Such a great story, the best story around. Question for you all to ponder or think about. What would you have done if you were one of the women and saw the angel in the cave? I know I would have been scared of myself. I would have been like, is this for real? Am I really seeing this? I would have been a little nervous and I would have been in a little disbelief. But what would you have done if you saw an angel whose light shine all to the corners of the cave. What would you have done if you saw the angel in the cave? Well, yes. Again, the best story yet to share. Thank you all for listening and being um, so good as I read this story. You all have a blessed, blessed day and you all have a blessed, blessed week. Prayers of peace and love and protection and healing be upon you and your family as you are learning or whether you're in spring break. Prayers of peace and love be upon you. See you next time. Thank you, Pastor Christine. That was so cool. So we learned that the women found an empty tomb and that Jesus rose from the dead. Everyone was so happy to see Jesus alive again. It must have been the happiest day in all of history. Let's sing and dance along to the song, Happy Day. Just follow along with the actions on your screen.
of the most important things that I've hoped you've learned in Sunday school this year is that Jesus loves you very much. That's what we've been talking about all this week. On Maundy Thursday, Jesus shared a meal with the disciples he loved so much. On Good Friday, Jesus died for you and for me and for everyone around the whole world because he loves us so much. On Easter, Jesus rose from the grave to show us that not even death can separate us from how much Jesus loves us. So let's sing the song, Jesus Loves Me, so we, so we can remember all of this amazing love. Here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know. much for watching Easter Sunday School today, everyone. I'm so excited to be back on Zoom with you all next week. Before we go, let's do our blessing together. Put up your thumb because God is good. Now make a cross on your forehead. Make a cross on the forehead of anyone near you and make one big cross right at your screen. And as we do that, we're going to say the words, child of God, you are loved. Ready to do it with me. Child of God, you are loved. Amen. Happy Easter. Christ is risen indeed. You are so, so loved. Have a great week, everyone. Goodbye.